Hello there. So we're kind of um, at the finish point for this truck. Again, this is one of those Radio Shack uh, four-wheel drive trucks from the 80s. Lots of us had them as kids, and they were great little trucks, especially because our dad wouldn't buy us a Tamiya Hornet. <laughs> um, no, I'm just being silly. So yeah, so it's pretty much done. You can see that um, how I've... Probably the biggest change you have to make to this is... Uh, redo the front steering and uh, so what I've done is I've bracketed off with a just a piece of wood actually um, these are two screws uh, from a Tamiya kit I had to bore those holes out slightly so the screw would grip in properly but you can see I've kind of uh, uh, with the servo with the actual actuator you know this part this is just a standard servo horn that came with the servo and again I drilled out the hole so I could get one of those Tamiya fine thread screws in that's a Tamiya kind of a, a metal sleeve that you might find in one of their shocks and that's just one of their little bolts and it actually works really well so I'm gonna give you a, a show here so I've got the switch mounted right there Maybe fiddle with that in the future. So here it's on so you can see steering works really well actually and it tracks really nicely. Um, so yeah my son wanted to paint up the body as well so you can kind of see we've, we've done it up a little bit uh, to look a little gnarly. We put a Venom sticker on it because well we have a Venom battery and these are just some goofy things we put on it. And also we put this Tamiya sticker on it because, uh, you know, we, hire, we used a lot of Tamiya parts in the building of this. So we thought that was really nifty. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to screw the body on and then uh, maybe we'll take it out for a spin to see how it goes.